hey what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel hey if you're new here it's uh totally free to subscribe and hit the like button for uh, post notifications um and also i just want to say thanks to all my recently uh new subscribers who recently subscribed to the channel uh but anyways uh let's get right on to it this is going to be a quick update on what's going on with the crypto market so the whole crypto market is down right now right now we're at um uh bitcoin you know it came up you know we it, it went all the way from 54,000 all the way back up to 68 but then it now we're back down to like below 65 we're at 64 uh but there was already a rumor going around that bitcoin is probably going to dip again probably back down to like between 59 and 60k but if it does let's get ready um you know i just want to say um you know the way um you know you know the way the market has been you know doing lately it's been you know looking kind of bearish over the last few days you know we uh i ain't gonna lie i kind of thought the market was going to go up this week because the whole spot bitcoin excuse me the spot ethereum etf went live this week the fact that it went live this week i actually thought the market was gonna you know was gonna try to you know rebound but you know we just got to stay focused uh like i said ethereum ethereum is back down to like you know under 3200 Bitcoin back, you know, uh, it actually went below 60. It actually went to 63, actually. But there's your top by market cap and everything. So pretty much the whole market is kind of flash crashing. And I want to do an update on uh, SwiftCoin. And so SwiftCoin, we're at, we were at about 42% of a penny before we, you know, we dipped down a little bit more. Now we're at 40, you know, it's, it's holding at 40% of a penny. But I just want to say, hey, we do dip. Um, if we do dip below 40% of a penny, I'll, um, not to sugarcoat nothing, I, I, I'm going to say, well, it's, you know, it's based on Bitcoin anyways. If Bitcoin keep, you know, keep, you know, dipping, obviously there is a great chance that we could dip below 40% of a penny. And uh, at that point, then we got to make a decision whether, hey, if you got more extra cash on the side to buy more, that'll be good. But But everybody don't have extra cash to buy more, you know what I mean? So... Now financial advice, there's two things you can do either buy more or, you know, or sell wait, and just wait to see how far, how far down the price goes and then just quickly buy back in. But like I said, none of this is financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'll probably do. But anyways, uh, SwiftCoin is, is, is trying to hold strong. The only concern that I really have, honestly, with Swift, uh, I'm not really concerned the fact that we're down a 40 percent of opinion. I'm really concerned about really you know, our last pump, the last Bitcoin pump, you know, when it went from 40, no, excuse me, 54, all the way back up to 68, uh, we didn't get a pump like we would have thought. We didn't pump at all. We only, I think the highest we went up was maybe, maybe about 45, maybe, maybe about 45% of a penny. It seemed like that was the highest we uh, pumped. So we, we didn't pump at all this last uh, Bitcoin run up, which is, I, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little disappointed, but it happens sometimes. But, but if you look at the overall market, most of the utilities, low cap utilities didn't really pump with Bitcoin like I would have thought. It was, you know, mostly it was the uh, meme coins that pumped. But but I believe eventually, <clears throat> excuse me, but I believe eventually our time is going to come for utility, the, all the low cap utility coins that, you know, that are out there. Um, but the only concern that I do have, if, you know, when Bitcoin goes on its next run and we don't move at all, then that's going to be a red flag because um, the first time it happened, I'm like, OK, it, it happens sometimes. And the last um, other altcoins didn't really pump in, but maybe a couple. But if you look at the market at all in a whole, with a lot of the low cap utilities, you know, like Spell, um, XCN, like XCN didn't really pump. Helium Mobile didn't really pump really that good. Um, now Spa pumped a little bit. Spa did. Then we got other low cap utilities. There's a, there's dozens of literally low cap utilities. All all of our favorite ones. Even Jasmine. Honestly, Jasmine didn't pump that much yet. They pumped a little bit, but not that much. That when Bitcoin went from like 40, 54 to all the way back up to 68, even Jasmine didn't pump. So you know when people, I know some people try to say, oh well, Swift is not doing anything. Oh. Uh, uh, get rid of that and get in Jasmine, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, Jasmine's not doing that well either. So, so I don't, I really don't want to hear it. You know, if anything, if anything, Jasmine should have already hit five cents by now, but Jasmine still haven't even hit five cents. 
But I'm just saying that because nothing against Jazz Miss is that some people was trying to, a couple of people was trying to talk crap about about Swift Coin, you know. But, you know, look at Jasmine. Jasmine's been sitting between what two to three cents for for a good minute now. But anyways, um, but but as far as uh, Swift Coin, our time is eventually going to come. You look at the the one year chart. You look at that one year chart. You see what it's done in a one year. Went from more than double the wallet holders. We we've, we've had an all time high, all the way up to eighty five percent of a penny like many months back, and then before it came all the way back down. And then months later, it pumps back up to 75% of a penny, which is about, what, a month and a half ago? We went up to like 75% of a penny. Then we came back down. But anyways, um, like as of right now, you know, we're holding pretty good at about, um, you know, we're holding at 40% of a penny. But but let's just watch it closely and see what happens because it, it's definitely, dump, you know, dump it with Bitcoin. Um, but like I said, my only concern is that if, when Bitcoin goes on its next pump, are we going to pump with it? That's my only concern. But anyways, just the crypto market is unpredictable. Uh, at the end of the day, we don't know what's really going to happen. We, When it comes to the alts, uh, we only can hope and speculate. But but like I said, but uh, but everybody who's, who keep loading up on our SWIFT at these levels, hey, you guys are going to win in the long run because we're, we're definitely in, a, in the accumulation phase. We're definitely back in the accumulation phase with, you know, with this price of 40% of a penny. You know, and and what's crazy is we didn't even pump during the last Bitcoin pump. So yeah, that's just my my update and take on um on um on what's going on with Swift Coin. But like I said, I'm watching it um I'm watching it uh very closely here. Um, but anyways, but but like I said, but I, I I know how to look at the bigger picture. The whole crypto market is down right now, not just Swift Coin. There's a lot of you know low cap. Uh, utilities that are down. So if you look at the whole crypto market, you know, everything, a lot of uh, coins are um, are down. Look at that. Even the top 100 cryptos are all down 10%, 15%. Uh, I'm seeing even nine. So honestly, when you when I look at SwiftCoin, it's actually not doing that bad compared to other alts. Look at ArcBlock. Look at that down 9%. Um, you know, a lot of... Uh, a lot of cryptos are. Oh no, that's not Arbitrum. That's something else. Let me see. Okay, that's Arbitrum. Okay, they're down nine um, percent. So yeah, so some cryptos are even down up to like you know twelve percent. So when you look at that, you know we're only down six point three percent for the week, which is not that bad. You know we're we're still down. We're down twenty one percent for the month and three point six for the day. So you know that's you know that's the you know that's the crypto market. Uh, let's see what Bitcoin does over the next um, tomorrow and the next couple of days. Like I said, there was already a rumor that Bitcoin could go back to like 59, 60 K. So we got to be ready for that. But anyways, that's my take on Swift, my, my price update and what I think. And like I said, we're, we're holding for the prize. We're, you know, we're holding long term. Um, and, you know, anyways, everybody who's holding them, you know, we're looking at the bigger picture. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button for post notifications. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, my PayPal Cash App is in the description. Or, you know, get the cash or get the uh, channel membership. Just three, four dollars a month. Hey, you're helping support the channel. I'm gonna my, my updated portfolio is gonna be over there. And I I'm gonna I drop, you know, new content for just for the channel members. Like if I find out new information, I'm always finding like low cap, you know, you know, low cap utility coins that's gonna do good uh, in the bull run. But anyways, thanks everybody for tuning in. That's my update on Swift. Bitcoin and the crypto market and Swift. Um, see you guys in the next one. Peace.